Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA and Shimmer news of the last few days. Here we go. Sooniverse and Landex are entering into a partnership. This was announced by both on the 1st of August. This means that soon token will be listed on Landex. This is good news and build trust for Landex, as in the past the community has not always been positive towards Landex. When the Shimmer EVM launched, you can then get started on Landex. Build5 published the third and last article of their small series. This time it's about artificial intelligence and the limits of centralized AI and the evolution towards decentralized AI. Centralized AI models like ChatGPT require large amounts of data in the cloud but runs into scaling issues. The number of parameters in models like GPT-4 is reaching its limits. Decentralized approaches such as Federated Learning FL, allow AI to be trained on distributed devices with private data and shared computational load. The Build5 approach integrates Web3 technology into modern applications and solves challenges such as data deserts. These are areas of limited data availability. FL Confidential Computing and the IOTA blockchain provide a solution by strengthening privacy, security and trust. Ice Cream Swap implements the Shimmer testnet. With this, you can test the platform with the Shimmer network. Moreover, another swapping platform joins our ranks. Ice Cream Swap is a multi-chain DeFi platform. Again, we'll get right to work when Shiva EVM launches. On the 2nd of August, Build5 published another article and that is about Mana Station. Mana could serve as a gas for smart contracts and is traded through the innovative Mana Station. This platform allows smart contract creators and users to buy and sell Mana for smart contracts executions on the IOTA Tangle. Mana Station promotes a balanced ecosystem by rewarding node operators who provide resources. This concept strengthens the IOTA network, promotes revenue generation and supports the smooth functioning of smart contracts on IOTA 2.0. Build5 thus contributes significantly to the development and use of IOTA 2.0. The product page is also online. Virtue has published their first armor on YouTube. The whole thing lasts 40 minutes. It introduces the project, clarifies the differences between Deeper and Virtue and the planned tokenomics that will be released soon. Shimmer published an article about yield farming, which was already published by ICCD in October 2022. On the 4th of August, the IOTA Foundation shows a report titled Bringing Clarity to the DeFi Sector, which is the opinion of the industry and academics. One of the definitions is as follows. DeFi refers to a new financial system that is decentralized and does not require intermediaries. It uses technologies such as distributed ledger technologies and smart contracts to enable secure and transparent transactions. DeFi aims to create absolute financial freedom by providing universal access and empowering users to independently manage their financial activities. DeFi is based on the principle of trustless interactions and enables transactions to be carried out without blind trust in centralized authorities. Furthermore, DeFi decentralizes the management of financial services and makes them independent of specifying jurisdictions, enabling a global and borderless financial ecosystem. Deeper Finance is launching again, revamp and on the latest Shimmer EVM testnet. All of you who want to test the Lyantly again are welcome to do so. The test tokens are freely available to you. Viviswap.com starts trading with IOTA and the best thing about it, you can pay with Euro and the SEPA procedure. Many have wished for this. The fees decrease the larger amounts you buy. Feel free to use my link and indirectly support the channel here. Dominic Schina has been invited to speak at the Cardano Summit 2023. This runs from the 2nd to the 4th November. Dominic also writes that there are big plans to bring Shimmer, IOTA and Cardano together. Hans Moog published the second part of his big plan on X. The second part of the update explains the use of reactive packages to fix problems caused by external propagation logic. By emulating cell communication, a component is created 
that holds value and ensures atomic update. The possibility of transformations allows adaptations to external stimuli. Derived variables can dynamically compute their values. The code for the tip manager demonstrates the application of these concepts. Clear transformations make algorithm understandable and errors can be localized. The modularity of the logic allows adaptations without changing existing code. Problems with propagation conditions are solved by automatically stopping propagation. Nakama Labs published an article about stablecoins and goes more into Virtue and the VUSD. There is no news in this. It's more of a summary of everything we already known so far as well. The Eto Group intends to integrate Viviswap into their applications, as Viviswap offers micropayments without extensive identity verification. IOTA plays a much bigger role than the text says. Benjamin Bönig confirmed this via X in response to a question from Linus. Completely surprisingly news came from Binance. One can now deposit IOTA as collateral. Farming starts on IOTA B. The small test takes 156 hours, which is just under a week. Here we can deposit soon and shimmer and farm. After this message, IOTB reported that the Shimmer EVM test has bugs and the launch is postponed for now. A few hours later, this message was revised because the network was running perfectly. Christoph published a paper on the 9th of August titled GaiaX Technical Implementation Architecture. Their IOTA has been mentioned two times, as Vrom also found it, first for DID and second for complex DID. Assembly, of course, must not be shortchanged. Up to the 9th of August, 848 million assembly were distributed. There are 7 days left in current round 6 of 8. On the 7th of August, another paper titled Reality-Based UTXO Ledger by Sebastian Müller, Andreas Penzkofer, Nikita Poljanski, Jonas Theis, William Sanders and Hans Moog was published. Quote, the UTXO unspent transaction output models is used in distributed ledger technology to transfer value between participants. One advantage of this is that transactions can be processed in parallel, as independent transactions can be added in any order. This feature is good for scalability. However, in the UTXO ledger model, this advantage is compromised by competing transactions. We propose an improved UTXO ledger model that optimistically updates the ledger and tracks possible conflicts. If there is a conflict, we have a method to reduce the enchanced ledger to unified UTXO ledger. And while we are all waiting for something, here's the roundup of all the other updates around the technology. The Firefly Desktop Shimmer app has been updated to 2.15 Beta 1. The IOTA Wallet updated to 1.73 Beta 1. Hornet is now available at version 1.26. The pre-release version reached RC7 and the Legacy version 0.5.10. The Shimmer EVM reached 0.70 Alpha 12. Also the parameter task was announced a very big update. That's it for this episode of Probably Nothing. Lots of new things happening and great developments. Our partnerships await us. See you next time. Bye bye.